Hey what's going on guys? In this video we are going to see how to draw traces for hyperboloid of two sheets. And this is the standard form of hyperboloid of two sheets. And if you want to know the shape of that, the graph is going to look like this. Right? Now let's go ahead and draw the traces. Okay, let's start with x, y trace. Now here we are going to equate z is equal to 0. And if we equate c is equal to 0, we are going to have x square over 16 minus y square over 9 is equal to 1, right? And this is the hyperbola. You can see that. And uh, here we have 16. 16 is 4 square. So we are going to have 4 in the positive x direction, also negative 4 here. And in the y axis we have 9. 9 is 3 square. So we are going to have positive 3 right here, also negative 3 right here. Okay, now let's go ahead and draw our rectangle. Okay, rectangle should be from here. Okay, let's call this one 3. Okay, this is 3. Uh, this is negative 3 and this is 3 and this is 4 negative 4 right now the diagonal of this one is going to be the asymptote of this one so diagonal okay let's draw the diagonal right here oh. okay I should turn it a little bit like this Okay, now let's draw the diagonal and also diagonal in the other side. Okay. Okay. Let's draw the diagonal. And diagonal is going to be the asymptote and also here we have x positive right so this is going to be in the x-axis opening in the x-axis now let's go ahead and draw that one so we should we should start from here okay and also in the other side we are going to have Okay, so this is our hyperbola. And let's look at xz trace. xz trace, we are going to have y is equal to 0. So if y is equal to 0, we are going to have x square over 16 minus z square over 4 is equal to 1. Again, this is also a hyperbola. Now let's go ahead and draw our diagram. 4 square is 16. So we are going to put 4 for the x axis. This is y axis, right? We are looking for the xz, yeah, xz plane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This should be x right here, okay? Xz plane. So in the x, we have we are going to have positive 4, and this is going to be negative 4. And this is going to be 2 right here, negative 2, and this is going to be positive 2. Now let's go ahead and draw our triangle, I mean rectangle. Rectangle is going to go like this. Okay, now the diagonal is going to be our asymptotes. Okay, diagonal is asymptotes. Okay, post diagonal and the other side also we have had to have a diagonal. Okay, here we go. 
asymptote and here x is positive again this is going to be opening in the x direction okay now this is our xz trace now let's go ahead and draw a yz trace yz we equate x is equal to 0 we are going to have negative y square over 9 minus z square over 4 equal to 1 now you can see this one does not exist because even if you move one of these to the other side it this will, doesn't work because square root of negative values and it's, it's not going to work right so this one does not exist so here what we have to do is we have to take a value for example if this is negative one it should work if it's if this is negative one we can multiply everything by negative one and we will get positive y squared over 9 minus c squared over 4 is equal to 1 and that's going to be an ellipse so that's what I'm going to do so instead of this one I'm going to take a parallel surface right parallel plane and to get parallel plane I'm going to take x is equal to square root of 32 so if you plug x is equal to square root of 32 in this equation you will get 32 over 16 that's going to be 2 okay 2 minus y square over 9 minus z square over 4 is equal to 1 now if you move this to other side that's going to be y square over 9 minus z square over 4 is going to be equal to negative 1 this minus so if you multiply everything by minus that's going to be y square over 9 minus z square over 4 this plus because we multiply everything by negative 1 so this is going to be equal to 1 now this is an ellipse now this is what we are going to use to draw the diagram so let's go ahead and plug the values this is y this is z so y we have 9 9 is 3 square so we are going to put 3 right here negative 3 right here and z square we are going to have 4 and negative 4 so it's actually 2 square is 4 so we are going to have 2 and negative 2 negative 2 and now let's go ahead and draw by ellipse okay ellipse is going to look like this okay and that's our traces for hyperbolic two sheets i hope this helps thanks for watching